just destroy people. I mean, when Modern Warfare 3 came out, he had like 30 mobs in the first two weeks. That's crazy. Like, he is just crazy, crazy good. And I was like, you know, with Modern Warfare 2 time, I was like, all right, well, you know, how about this? Like, do YouTube. Like, you can make money. You could turn this into a career. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I'll buy, you know, I bought a Hopog HD PVR. And, you know, I was like, all right, here, we'll record your gameplays. And we recorded about 30, 40 gameplays. And I was like, all right, you, now you got to do some commentary. He's just like, oh, no, no, I don't. Just just put that <laughs> shit up. My game is so beast, everybody will sub. <laughs> I'm like, uh, no, it doesn't work that way. No. <laughs> I, it just doesn't work that way. So um, I was like, fine, I'll do it. So I started doing some commentaries over his gameplay on his channel. And it got to the point where he just, he lost interest. So I was like, I'm decent. I'm not a great player. I, I... I would say I'm decent. Like I'm a 1.5 KD and I'm a rusher. Like I don't do that camping bullshit for nothing. Mm -hmm. um, so 1.5 KD and rushing all the time, playing the objective, I think that's pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. um, I don't get the high kill streaks. I think I've only gotten two Moabs on Modern Warfare 3. I think I've only got maybe one or two nukes on Modern Warfare 2 because I just don't have the patience to sit around and wait for it once you yeah. get to that certain point. Mm -hmm. um, so I always ran low kill streaks to help the team, and, and I, I mainly played domination or killed confirmed. Never, I never liked team deathmatch. I always called a team camp match because that's all that <laughs> happened. Yep. People camp kill streaks, so like domination was probably seventy percent of my game time, and then kill confirmed came around. I did a lot of kill confirmed. Never got mm. into search and destroy again. Way too slow for me. Um, same yeah. thing with team deathmatch. So. That that's pretty much it, and then I've been doing YouTube ever since. And you know, I enjoy it. Like in the beginning, like it was exciting, it was new, it was that fresh new penny I just got for my loafers. <laughs> but um, you know, nowadays it's just like everybody and their grandmother is doing it, and yep. it's it's like so washed out. And like I was, you know, I was gonna ask you about you know the state of YouTube and everything. Like, and you were saying the same thing. Like, I enjoy watching YouTube videos. And there's a lot of people that I love. I love, like, I love Brian, the Schwans. I love Pico210. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, you know, these are guys that I love watching their videos. Apocalypse, like, I love watching their videos. But they put up five or six videos a week. I, I don't have time for that. I mean, you know, I may watch every every third one they put up. Yeah, you it's, know, and, and it's, it's not, hard. <laughs> it's not that I don't want to watch them. It's just, you're putting out a video every goddamn day. I, got, I don't have time for that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm it's saying? So like, ain't no one I got time for that. Ain't no one I got time for that. But yeah. I mean, that's what you got to do to to get big. And like, Pico's blowing yeah. up, Brian's blowing up, Apox blowing mm -hmm. up. It's just because that's what these these kids want. You know, these kids come home from school and they want to watch their favorite YouTuber talk. You know, yeah. and and that's cool. Like, and you know, all of them are great guys. Mm -hmm. You know, they they're very entertaining. And you know, through the Swans, I met Eddie the Chump. I think Eddie the Chump has a great channel. I don't think. I've seen a video um, of his longer too. than two and a half minutes. You know yeah. Eddie the Chump? Yeah. He's, yeah, I, he's hilarious. His satire, it, it's just rapid fire. It, it's excellent. Like, mm -hmm. he has a great channel because it's never longer than three minutes. Yep. You are guaranteed to be entertained. And you're going you're gonna to leave that video with a smile on your face. Yep, I agree. So, I mean, and, like, I would love to mirror that. I just, I'm not that quick with it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I, I agree. Like, I base my channel off of topical commentaries. Like, I like picking up a subject, talking about it, my point of view, and then reading back comments and, and interacting with everybody. Like, that's what my channel is always based about. And then I got involved in this whole C3 thing because someone invited me to a tournament, and I ended up winning it. And I was like, that's a great idea. His name was The Apophis. He really doesn't post that much. He's trying to get back into it. But he invited me over, and I did that, and I actually won, nice. surprisingly. And when it came back to it, like I was like, dude, I want to do something like that. Like I want to get back to the community. And a lot of people joke and say I'm the godfather of YouTube, but I'm not big <laughs> enough to be even close to that. But like I do, I like try to help a lot of people. I try to you know give shout outs, do those kind of things, and and help out the community. And I was like, you know, well shout out videos and sub Sundays, and those videos get redundant and people stop watching them. Yeah. So what's a better way to do this? And I was like, the whole tournament idea is great. And then they had that tournament that was hosted by like Team Mart or whoever, and it was a joke. Everyone, everybody was making videos about how that tournament was an absolute joke. Do you remember that? 
I didn't even watch. I don't. I don't watch T Martin. Yeah. It was, well, I, no. <laughs> it, it was like Clash of Commentators or something like 2013. Anyway, it was about six or seven months ago, and it was just a joke. Like the people that made the finals were like, they were good, but they. I'm sure they weren't the best. Um. So anyway, I started doing the C3, and I was like, you know what, this is a great way. You know, I'll take entry videos, I'll, I'll, I'll let people commentate, it'll get them exposure. Because you figure if you have 10, 12, 16 channels that are around three to 500 subscribers, and they're mm -hmm. all going up against each other, and they all have their subscribers come over, you're talking about an audience of possibly 20,000 people. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's a great way to get exposure. And since it's a tournament, you're going to put your best foot forward it's a yep. great way to gain subs and, you know, get yourself out there. And, I mean, honestly, some of the videos that have actually made the, the tournament, I'm just like, really, dude? It looks like you <laughs> took 10 minutes out of your afternoon before you went out with your boys and made a video. <laughs> like, this is your opportunity to shine and step up. And, honestly, my best videos I've ever made never went to my channel. They were for other channels, like community channels or whatever. Yeah. The best videos I've ever made went on somebody else's channel. And that's because I knew that was my opportunity to reach a new audience. Yeah, pe people don't really understand, like, net networking is, like, a huge part of growing in YouTube. It's not like a fucking magic pill that you take and, bam, you have subs or whatever. But, right. I mean, you have to network, and whenever you do get the opportunity to upload to somebody else's channel or to a community channel, you have to put in your, be your best work. You know, a lot exactly. of people don't really understand that. Right. I mean, I made it on Thunderstruck Gaming twice. Nice. And, you know, the first time I made it on there, I think I had like 200 subs and I woke up with like 450 and a, a freaking, I was ecstatic. I was like, holy <laughs> shit, look at me. I'm a beast. I'm a beast. <laughs> and then uh, the second time I got on there was maybe about six months later. And it was funny because there was another guy, I forget who it was, but. We were joking around and we were like, you know, race the five, race the 500. You know, I bet I'll get there to 500 before you. And I was like, oh, well, you know, great, you're on. Mm -hmm. And he was at like maybe 460, and I was at like 415. And I submitted a video to Thunderstruck Gaming before, you know, I even agreed to this, not mm -hmm. thinking I was going to get up because it was like the fourth or fifth video I submitted. And mm -hmm. uh, I woke up the next morning with like 568 subs. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah. in your face, motherfucker! It's crazy. I made it on TSG. I've only submitted one video, and I gained, like, probably 600 subs from it. It's insane. It's, it's great. I mean, I love Thunder. I mean, again, he's another one that makes a ton of videos, and I don't get a chance to watch every one of them. But, you know, I watch him, and, like, he's he's very cool. He's It's like you're sitting down at the bar with him, and he's just bullshit with it. Yeah, it's like... A friend. Type yeah. Thing, you know and, what I mean? And, and that's, like, that's what I try to, you know, they're, they're the kind of commentators that I enjoy watching, and I, you mm -hmm. know, same thing with APOC. APOC's the same way. It's like you're sitting yeah. down to bar and bullshit with them. Yep, exactly. And I, I enjoy that, because that's very personal, and that's that's sort of like what my channel is. It's very personal. Like, I'm very open. You know, I did a series called, you know, um, Serial Sound Advice, where people would send me in questions, sort of like the whole Woody thing. Um, uh -huh. But people kept telling me, telling me I was the next Woody and I had to cut all that shit out. Um, <laughs> but, you know, it's just that kind of thing. Like, you know, I'm an older gentleman. I mean, I'm not a young buck anymore. And I have a lot of experience. So, you know, if I could help out these kids in a parental, parent, parent, parental, parental, that's the word <laughs> I'm looking for, parental fashion, why not? You know, it, it, I'm not telling them how to jerk off or give a blowjob. But yeah. at the same time, like, I'm giving them real life advice on, you know, maybe, like, a lot of them are relationship questions, like, with girls or friends or stuff like that. And, you know, I have experience with that shit. So, you know, but it's like all the series, they're just, they, they get monotonous. They get redundant after time. They and do. And it's just like, you got to keep shit fresh. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And it's hard to come up with stuff like that, too. It like, is. It I mean, really because is. If you look around YouTube, everybody's done everything. Mm-hmm. Yep. So. Pretty much. <laughs> all right. We've been talking for almost an hour. Well, 40, 40 minutes now. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, I don't think anybody's going to watch this shit. <laughs> it's too damn long. Um, well, we're going to break it up, right? Oh, yeah. We're definitely going to break it up. Definitely <laughs> going to break it up. So, uh, like I said, I'll break it up. And I don't know what kind of gameplay we'll throw in the background. Um, shit. I don't even know. 
Uh, I don't have that much gameplay, but we'll throw some random ass gameplay in the background. Um, you can send me over some. I'll send you over some. And, or actually, just send me over some. I will mix the videos up and I will uh, upload them unlisted so you can download them and we'll just post them both our channels. Okay. Sweet. Sound cool? Sound good. Diana, it has been an absolute pleasure talking to you today. <laughs> well, thank you for having me. Oh, no, thank you for having me, darling. <laughs> All right, well, you enjoy the rest of your weekend. And for everyone listening, uh, go check out Diana. And if you're on Diana's channel, come check my ass out. <laughs> and, uh, he's, he's pretty hilarious. Uh, I try, I try. And usually I fail. But anyway, um, and also check out the C3 channel. The C3 channel, it's a community commentator channel. It's also my competition channel for tournaments. So come check it out. I'm trying to build that shit up and make it work and, you know, get back to the community and all that other good shit. So... That's it for me. I think that's it for me, too. Anyway, I've been Serial Assassin. She's been Diana. And we're out. Bye. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>